It is with deep gratitude to the loving Lord and our God for His unfailing love, mercy, and protection over His people during this turbulent year of the continued effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Church in West Africa Union Mission has had its share of the impact of the various waves of the pandemic. Governments of the various countries ban congregational worship and many other church-related events and activities. The Church, Volume 5, page 209, has this to say. The crisis is fast approaching. The rapidly swelling figures show that the time for God's visitation is about to come. Those who walk in the light will see signs of the approaching peril. But they are not to sit in quiet on concern expectancy of the ruin, comforting themselves with the belief that God will shelter his people in the day of visitation. Far from it. They should realize that it is their duty to labor diligently to save others, looking with strong faith to God for help. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It is with this backdrop present to the World Year in Council, the 2021 report. The West Africa Union mission uh, comprises of uh, uh, Guinea, Conakry, uh, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. Three countries makes up the West Africa Union mission. In the Union, we have one conference, three missions, and one region. It is good for me to bring to your notice that the population of uh, the Republic of Guinea is 12.41 12, uh, 12 million, the population of Liberia is 4.8 million, and the population of Sierra Leone is about 7.65 million. A total population of our field is about 24.9 million people. The membership of the union stands at 43,769. Guinea has 2,766. Central Liberia Mission, 6,816. Southeast Liberia Mission, 4,120. Sierra Leone Mission, 12,276. And Southwest Liberia Conference, 17,791. These figures are from the third quarter 2021 statistical report. This gives us a ratio of one Adventist to 600 non-Adventist organized churches and companies. The union has 147 organized churches and 168 companies. Guinea region, organized churches, six companies, 28. Central Liberia Mission, organized churches, 42. Companies, 41. Southeast Liberia Mission, organized churches, 24. Companies, 17. Sierra Leone Mission, organized churches, 53. Companies, 66. Southwest Liberia Conference, organized churches, 22. Companies, 16. Workforce. The entire union workforce stands at 170. Guinea Region, one ordained minister, three unordained ministers. Office staff, Four, Gospel Outreach, Global Mission, 30. Central Liberia Mission, Ordained Ministers, 5. Unordained, 4. Office Staff, 7. Gospel Outreach, 12. Southeast Liberia Mission, Ordained Ministers, 4. Unordained Ministers, 6. Office Staff, 7. Gospel Outreach, Global Mission, 13. Sierra Leone Mission, Ordained Ministers, 6. Unordained, 10. Office Staff, 8. Gospel Outreach, 11. Southwest Liberia Conference, Ordained Ministers, 12. Unordained, 6. Office Staff, 7. Gospel Outreach, 3. One Office, Ordained Ministers, 3. Office Staff, 8. Adventist Church Membership System, ACMF. By His special grace, the Secretariat has uploaded the total number of 12,204 members on the ACMS, which shows 27.9%. Central Liberia Mission, 2,582 members, 
Guinea region, 420 members. Southeast Liberia mission, 1,424 members. Sierra Leone mission, 3,562 members. Southwest Liberia Conference, 4,216 members. Evangelism. During the period under review, outdoor activities were restricted by government bans. Church leaders, pastors, and church members were able to make good use of the Adventist World Radio, AWR, National Radio, and the television to preach the Sabbath message, test messages, and YouTubes, and WhatsApp messages to reach their members and prospective members. These media interactions form the framework that help to strengthen spiritual growth for believers in time of Christ. Even though there were government restrictions and bans from outdoor church activities, some fields conducted evangelistic campaigns and baptism were carried out. 1,701 souls were added to the church. Small groups union-wide is 683. Education. There are over 170 schools in West Africa Union Mission. Liberia has a total of 32 schools, which comprises 17 primary schools, 6 junior secondary schools, and 9 senior secondary schools. Guinea has 9 schools. Of this number, 8 are primary, while 1 is a secondary school. Sierra Leone has over 129 schools, 95 are nursery primary schools, 15 junior secondary schools, and 14 senior secondary schools. It is sad to present to this body that 98% of the schools in Sierra Leone are owned and governed by the government of Sierra Leone. The church basically has little or no governing authority over these schools because their employees are directly paid by the government of Sierra Leone. Teachers. There is a total number of 1,770 teachers in our schools. Of this number, the graph below shows 64% as Adventist teachers, while 36% of the number are non-Adventist teachers. This shows that there is a work to be done in improving our teacher salaries to attract Adventist teachers. We are pleased to report that the department is working assiduously in this direction. Students, the graph below shows a total of over over 25,000 students that are attending our schools. 87% are non-Adventist, while 13% are Adventist students. To increase the number of Adventist students, the Education Department has initiated in this quinquennium of 15% tuition free to all Adventist parents who enroll their children in any Seventh-day Adventist school in West Africa Union Mission, especially in Liberia. We pray that this will encourage Adventist parents and increase the number of Adventist students in our schools, while we seek to encourage non-Adventist students through our spiritual programs to be converted to the Adventist faith. Baptism. During the year on a review, a total number of 223 students, along with eight teachers, were baptized through the spiritual program of the education department. Adventist University of West Africa, OWA, student enrollment, 2020-2021 school year infrastructure development. We are pleased to inform this body that three schools are presently under construction. Kobaya Guinea, one. Eastern Sierra Leone, one. Morovia, Liberia, one. There are other secondary schools as well as primary schools that are improving their existing structure to provide more facilities for the students. Health institutions. By the special grace of God, the union has two hospitals, one eye clinic and one dental clinic. Adventist health system in Sierra Leone, Waterloo, Copa Memorial Hospital in Morovia, Liberia, Copa Memorial Eye Clinic in Morovia, Liberia, Dental Clinic in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Women's Ministries, with the bans and restrictions from government authorities, our women conducted training, retreat, International Women's Day celebration, and a week of spiritual emphasis, one in Southwest Liberia Conference and another one at Central Liberia Mission. Youth Ministries, the Youth 
also were not left out. Even though the COVID-19 was ravaging the world, programs such as Path Funnel Investiture, Path Funnel Day Celebration in the various fields were conducted and also spiritual retreats were carried out. Family Life This year, under review, was one of the best for the Adventist families. There were trainings conducted in various fields by the Oliver General Conference Family Life Director and Baba Binders, Ward Family Life Director, through Zoom, the medium that has eased the work for the church. A week of family life spiritual emphasis was conducted in all fields except for one that had a political upheaval, coup d'etat, in Guinea. In some fields, puppet exchange were affected and the all culmination of the exercise saw couples gathering together to celebrate family life together. Marriages were also conducted. Ordination into the gospel ministry. The Southwest Liberal Conference ordained four of her ministers in to the gospel ministry on Sabbath, May 22, 2021. They are Pastor Christian A. Brooks, Pastor Richmond B. Wright Sr., Pastor Frank Oduro Banner, and Pastor Emmanuel Fokbat Zizi Jr. The gospel according to Fana with the West African Union Mission has one conference and two missions in Liberia. We have one mission in Sierra Leone and one region in Guinea. In addition to that, we have two institutions in Liberia, the Adventist University of West Africa and Cooper Memorial Hospital. And we have one institution in Sierra Leone, Adventist Health Systems at Waterloo. Altogether, we have treasury offices at eight different entities within the Union territory. The new administration at the West Africa Union Mission took over in January 2020 at a time when the Union was in serious financial crisis with its liquidity less than 15%. By God's grace, our liquidity as of September 2021 is above 125%. Our self-support is above 80%. The accounts payable at the end of December 2019 was around 350,000 US dollars. And by God's grace, as of September 2021, our debt has been cleared and we are debt free. Our accounts receivable has dropped from 450,000 US dollars to 290,000 US dollars as of September 2021. And we are still making efforts to collect these receivables from the lower organizations. Due to the pandemic, our income dropped in 2020. However, with the support of my colleagues in the administration, we were able to overcome these challenges by cutting down some of the expenses and by putting in internal control measures. At this stage, we don't want to be complacent and we would like to continue with the hard work. With the current financial indicators, we are quite optimistic that we will be in a position to increase our salary and allowances for the next fiscal year in 2022. Let us continue to be thankful to our Lord for His many blessings. Thank you all for your prayers and support.